like as you're as you're consuming all this content on social media you have to make sure that you're using that to go do something that you didn't feel like doing so when i'm at a low motivational point in my day when i really don't feel like finishing the work that i have to do for the day yeah i could pop on a motivational video but I have to make sure that when i pop on that video that when that video turns off that i then go do what i was trying to get motivated to do not allow the motivation from that video to be the work in itself be extremely cautious is if you uh, of if you are using social media and these incredible resources that we have if you are using those as escapism because if you're using it as escapism that's a problem watching videos to get empowered watching videos to learn stuff watching videos to get motivated is great unless you're doing that in order to escape from the reality of the work that you really need to be doing uh, there's a huge huge issue in using let's just call it motivation for the wrong purpose see watching a motivational video triggers the exact same response in your brain as actually doing the work we live in a world where it is so easy uh, to find something that can motivate you at the drop of a hat so get on youtube you know op uh, listen to a podcast um, just type in sales motivation or, or motivational video there is a trigger in your brain it is the same exact response in your brain when you watch a motivational video of actually having done something. Remember, the goal in watching a motivational video or listening to a podcast to get motivated is to get motivated to then go do something. Don't just sit in your office and watch 10 videos and then go to lunch and feel like, oh man, I got something done because your brain's gonna feel that way. Your brain is gonna feel triggered as though it just accomplished something because of what those videos do to you. But you have to remember that those videos are being used to then go do something. And that doing something is doing something to push the ball forward to get you out of this slump. Inspiration's a, it's a difficult one because people use inspiration and motivation interchangeably and it's not the case. Yeah. Um, inspiration comes from in spirit which means from within and so how can i go to someone else to get something from within I can't but even even as i'm saying that i've i've thought of a million different times where i've said like i need some inspiration or i've told someone that i'm gonna inspire or like you know that that my goal has been to inspire someone or or to be an inspiration like well how does that work um motivation is usually what you're going to external sources for but inspiration, to me, that comes from purpose, comes from passion, that comes from having the goals, like, like Charles was, was saying. It comes from knowing your why. Like that's what keeps people, in my opinion, inspired. Like when I think of waking up inspired, I don't, I don't think of where did I go this morning, what did I listen to, what did I watch, who did I talk to, so that I could be inspired. To me, again, coming from within, that that's I'm either inspired or I'm not. But I think those things like having having a purpose, knowing what that purpose is, we've all, all got one, but knowing what that purpose is, knowing what your why is, having big goals, those are the things that when I wake up and I feel inspired, like those are what I'm, I'm focusing on. But here's the thing, self-confidence, self-confidence, self-doubt, like it's on you. You can get this thing figured out yourself. Uh, so here's my caution. Do not use motivational videos, motivational content out there on social media to replace the actual work that needs to go in. But hey, if you're in a feeling, if you're in a moment of self-doubt and you need a little bit of inspiration, motivation, go to the influencers and entrepreneurs and, and incredible people online that are providing content and then use that to then go do the work. Just make sure, and I caution you not to use those videos in place of doing the work because again it triggers the same psychological response in your brain as actually doing the work so again if you're in a moment of self-doubt understand that if you go all in on your strengths and figure out what am i best at what do i do that nobody else can do and you go all in on that uh, it'll eliminate all doubt